Hey, good morning, everyone, and happy holidays. I love to serve seafood during the holidays. Just, you know, something special, something a little bit different. And this is a recipe I actually did in the summer, and I loved it so much that I, I put it in my cookbook, and I thought, you know what, this is a year-round recipe. In the summer, I, I called it shrimp on the barbie, but you know what, you can do it on the barbie. You can also do it in the oven, which is this time of year, you may want to stay indoors. I love this recipe too because it's just so easy and it makes a nice big batch. So it makes a great party starter as an hors d'oeuvre or it also you can you know serve it as the main course. So let's get to it. Shrimp on the barbie I'm calling it or in the oven. So it starts out with about three pounds of shrimp and notice I'm using the, the shrimp that's already got the shells on it. Uncooked shrimp right into, if you're doing this on the barbie, do it in a foil roasting pan. If you're doing it at home, you don't want all the cleanup. You can also do it in a foil roasting pan, but any kind of roasting pan will do. Now I've got a stick of butter that I've just cut up in cubes and I'm going to just dot that all over the shrimp and it's going to melt and get all in there and become wonderful. A few dashes of hot sauce more if you like it a little bit spicy, but we're going to serve some extra hot sauce on the side, so we're going to keep it pretty mild for now. And this is the secret ingredient. So we've got three pounds of shrimp, a stick of butter cubed up, a dash or two of hot sauce, uh, about eight ounces of bottled Italian dressing. So one eight ounce bottle or half of a 16 ounce bottle, just kind of squirt it on over the top. Now, got to have a little bit of lemon, so I'm going to do the juice of one whole lemon and then I'm going to take the other lemon and slice it up half of it put a few slices right in there that are going to bake right in with that shrimp and just give it some more flavor the other half of the lemon I'm going to serve with the shrimp on the table and then I've got a couple of cloves of fresh garlic so it's that easy and as I said, this makes such a great party starter. Bring this out and it's, it's going to be a good time. I'd allow, a, you know, three to four shrimp per person if you're doing it as an appetizer. And maybe five or six, maybe even eight if you're doing it as the main course. So feel free to double or triple this recipe. Now this gets either on the grill if you're doing it in a, in a foil pan or if you're doing it in the oven into a preheated 350 degree oven and depending on how uh, big your shrimp are it's going to take anywhere from about 10 to 25 minutes. You can stir it around in that buttery mixture every once in a while and you just want to cook it until the shrimp turns pink. You don't want to overcook your shrimp. So let me show you what it looks like when it comes out. It is yummy. Trust me, it gets gobbled right up. Yum, yum, yum. See all that great butter? I love to serve this with some extra hot sauce on the side and then some crusty French bread to just sop up every little bit of that last garlic butter. And then throw a little bit of parsley on top. And while I'm chopping up this parsley, don't forget, i am uh, got my new cookbook out and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to be out signing today, this morning actually, at Green Bay's Festival of Food West on West Mason from 11 to 1 and then this evening at, in New London from 4.30 to 6.30 at the Festival of Foods there. And then I'm signing all day tomorrow on the 23rd too at three different area Festival of Foods. Uh, I'll be in the morning at Swamico, in the afternoon in Manitowoc, and in the evening at the Darboy location. So there you go. Perfect shrimp for the holidays. Yummy, yummy. Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any festival foods.